Hi everyone, we are still on the, our lesson on expressing the concentrations of solutions using different units. So that's basically uh, learning target number three. In the previous video, we were talking about percent by mass, percent by volume, parts per million, and parts per billion. This time, let's talk about molarity and molality. Okay, so another unit of concentration is molarity, which is represented by the big letter M. Okay, it gives us the number of moles of solute per liter solution. Okay, and then you might have noticed that uh, chemicals in the, in the lab are usually in molarities, labeled in M. So, Again, if we write it down, that's MO, molarities. So the unit there is molar. So how, for example, in the picture, you are given 0 0.08 molars of potassium chromate. The big letter M there represents the concentration in terms of molarity. Okay, so the unit is molar. Uh, in here, 0 0.80 M, that means 0 0.80 molars of potassium hydroxide. Now take note that molarity can also be reported in uh, millimoles of solute per mill solution. So for example, if you have 1.0 M, big M, we can either think of this as 1.0 moles of solute over a liter of its solution, okay, that could be one, or we can have 1.0 millimoles mmol, okay, the small letter m represents milli over mil solution, all right, so millimoles per ml, so they mean the same thing as long as you have the prefix milli all right and that could be a useful uh, conversion factor later on uh, as long as we know that uh, the big m can also be reported as millimoles over milliliters of solution okay now let's deal uh, with this problem number one you are asked to calculate the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 11.5 grams of solid uh, sodium hydroxide with a molar mass of 40.0 grams per mole in enough water to make 1.50 liters of the solution. So chemicals in the lab are usually prepared this way. So they have to weigh out something and then mix it with a little bit of water in order to dissolve it just like you add a little water to juice to dissolve it first and then you dilute up to the mark up to the specific mark all right and so for example here you are asked for the concentration of a sodium hydroxide solution given the mass of sodium hydroxide all right so how do we do that we know that uh, molarity is the number of moles of our solute which is NaOH divided by the liter solution so what we can do since we do not have the direct number of moles of NaOH instead we have grams we still need to convert okay to convert a uh, grams into the number of moles of NaOH all right so if you have 11.5 uh, grams so this is now equals NaOH times our conversion factor which is the molar mass so I hope you still do well in uh, mole conversions the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40.0 grams per mole. Okay, so grams stays below, uh, one mole stays above. Okay, and this is both NaOH. Now, I have noticed that 
some of you still write grams per mole per mole. Okay, take note that once you use this as conversion factor, it's either one unit over the other lang. So it's gram moles over grams or grams over mole. Then we can cancel grams here. So get, we get to cancel grams, we get to cancel grams. That's why we can have 11.5 uh, divided by 40. So let's skip that out na lang. That's 11.5 divided by 40. That's 0 0.2875. Okay, or 288. Okay, uh, a safe reporting of the answer will be you can do everything, do everything first. Okay, place it in, a, in your calculator before you round it off as a final answer. So this is moles of NaOH still. Okay, so in order to get the number, the molarity, okay, M is equal to. 0 0.287 so we just divide uh, this value with uh, what are given is 1.50 liters solution so we have divided by 1.50 answer divided by 1.50 in our calculator 0. 1, 1, 9, 1, 6. But if we round it off to uh, three decimal places, we get 0 0.192 moles. And then do not forget uh, to put your label that is NaOH. Alright? 0 0.192 moles of NaOH. Okay? Now, uh, we actually have a simpler way of uh, doing the solutions so what I like to do is for example I can go directly to my molarity which is M and then uh, given the mass so we just transfer that's 11.5 grams and then we make sure that it gets cancelled or uh, one mole over uh, 40 point zero grams Now that we can cancel, we are sure that what is left is the number of moles. And then we divide everything okay, with 1.50 liters. And still we end up with 0 0.192 molars of sodium hydroxide. So you can also use this or if you are more of a stepwise kind of guy, so you can have that. All right, whichever suits you, as long as you show the cancellation of units so that you will not be lost in your solutions. Let's have the second example. How many grams of sodium chloride would you need to prepare 200 ml of a 5 molar solution? All right, so this is now, uh, this is now uh, given the molarity and the volume. This time, uh, it's the other way around. We need to find the mass. So this is most common in laboratory settings. So for example, you need this certain volume and a certain concentration. So what mass should you be looking for? Or how much mass should you be uh, doing? All right. So we know that we know that molarity, the big letter M, is equal to the number of moles over liter solution. So, in this case, we are given 5 molars. So, that means this is 5 m or mole per liter, which is practically this one. That's equal to, we do not get, we do not have yet the number of moles, much more so the number of grams. So, we denote it as x over the liter solution. So, since we are given... Uh, 200 ml and we want to report it in liters so that we need not convert millimoles into grams later on. So what we can do is just move or divide 200 ml with 
uh, 1000 or we move the decimal point three times to the left so that gives us 0 0.200 now instead of mil you can have liters all right now we have our equation so what we can do is look for x right so xl so what we can have here is x times l we just cross multiply and then 0 0.20 or 0 0.200 l times 5 moles all right and we divide everything with liters so that we can get rid or we can isolate x and then divide here with liters so what we do have is 0 0.2 times 5 that is practically 1.0 moles of an ACL now we do not want this what we do want is the number of grams so we have to convert this into grams so this is uh, 58.44 grams is to one mole so right now we are converting a uh, number of moles into grams all right cancel out cancel out so that means we need 58.44 grams to make this particular concentration of solution at that specific volume all right so a few minutes to absorb this is NaCl all right so next problem uh, problem number three calculate the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 1.56 grams of gaseous hydrogen chloride with a molar mass of 36.46 grams per mole in enough water to make 26.8 mL of the solution. All right, so right now we are getting the molarity. So just the same, we have the big letter M and then we have, instead of the number of moles, we still have to convert 1.56 grams Convert 1.56 grams of each HCl into the number of moles, right? So we use 36.46 grams. This is one mole HCl. Then we get to cancel, cancel. And after that one, we divide it with uh, 26.8 mil but you notice that this is still mil so it's moles per ml what we can do is convert uh, 26.8 mil into liters all right so practically the same divide it bit with one 1000 or move the decimal point uh, three times to the left all right and so we end up with that's 1.56 divided by 36.46 all over 26.8 divided by 1,000. That's 1.60 molars of HCl. All right? Okay, so uh, final answer is in three significant figures <laughs> because there are three SFs in our given also, the least number of SFs. All right, let's see if we still have some sample problems. Okay, so that is for uh, molarity, expressing the concentration of solutions in terms of their molarity. In the next part, we are doing now molality, uh, mole fraction, okay? So stay tuned.